Well, it's interesting to be in the context of painting as research, um, because although I trained as a painter and I've taught painting, um, very little of what I make now is actually painting, um, although I still see it as coming very much from a painting practice and a painting background. Um, also, I was interested in what Dave was saying about um, practice generating research, because I think in my experience as, a, as someone who's been through the doctoral process and as someone who's supervised PhDs, um, the most... Um, uh, the best way of, of, of approaching a PhD is that the studio work or the studio practice generates the research question. So the, the question and the research comes from the studio practice very much, rather than the other way around. Um, as Dave said, my uh, thesis was entitled Drag Act, the Politics of Form and the Structure of Impersonation. And um, I think one of the interesting things about my experience as a researcher was that the research question uh, came from practice, but not my own initially. Um, it came from uh, a series of works that I was looking at that seemed to beg or suggest um, a new methodology, a new sort of interpretive, an interpretative methodology. Um, so I'm going to start with an image to. Uh, is this going to be? Yep. Yeah, um, Great, thanks. Um, yeah, this is a, an image of um, a work by the American artist Jessica Stockholder, and it's worth reading the title and the, the materials, um, which gives you an idea of how her work operates. Um, it was at the uh, Renaissance Society in Chicago in 1991, and it's called Skin Toned Garden Mapping, and it's made from red carpet, paint, roofing tar, refrigerator doors, hardware, bug lights, cloth, vinyl composition tiles, concrete and tin foil. So it's a huge um, uh, expanded installation. Washing up liquid and ink. And on the back of this body of work, uh, the head of fine art invited me to apply for a PhD programme. <laughs> so um, it was something, I guess, I mean, this is one of the interesting questions of why an artist who has a practice would want to go back into um, an institution and carry out doctoral research. Um, and it's something that Peter Sushin has written very entertainingly and somewhat cynically about in a recent issue of Art Monthly. I don't know whether you have um, come across that article, but it's worth a read just in terms of the, the kind of pra uh, sort of practicalities of why and the, the kind of um, the intent really of, of somebody who you know, comes as a practicing artist and goes back into um, the enfolding arms of the institution. So when I when I went back at um, back to college essentially to do my PhD, um, I had a very loosely configured research sort of issue, if you like, rather than a question, um, which was to do on the one hand with the way in which um, Feminism and the uh, and postmodernism had a, a kind of contradictory um, a sort of, uh, if you like, a, a sort of configuration of the of the subject and of, of agency. And I, I suppose I saw postmodernism as being the view from everywhere, but also the view from nowhere, and what happens to agency and subjectivity, um, you know, politically within that within that mix. Um, I was also interested in the category of postmodernism um, as a kind of unstable um, set of coordinates and I was thinking about the way in which that modernism, because it is so complex and contradictory um, and unstable, then makes the whole concept of postmodernism contradictory and unstable because you, um, modernism itself isn't a watertight category. So these sort of issues rather than questions were, were what I went with to um, Leeds Metropolitan and um, I, I guess for the first few months um, I was commuting back, back and forth up from London to Leeds and I was trying to formulate a more um, focused research question and in the end what happened was the research question didn't come out of my work, it came out of the work of four American women artists um, whose work I'd seen in reproduction in magazines and in the media. And these, three women, these four women were um, Deborah Cass, Lisa Hoke, 
Jessica Stockholder and Lydia Donner. Um, I guess Lydia Donner and Jessica Stockholder are uh, two of the artists you might have heard of. And I suppose it's, I mean, this is the, the issue really for me about how the, the research question came out of a kind of a sort of shock or a surprise at seeing a new way of, um, of working with um, materials and images and processes and a set of codes and conventions that were kind of off limits um, for somebody who was interested in feminist theory. So um, what I did eventually was I, I developed a kind of interpretive methodology um, using the idea of cross-dressing um, and through, through the, the sort of refracting lens of a kind of camp sensibility to describe, to, to formulate a way of describing these four artists' work. And I ended up going to, um, to New York 